Um, the, in the West Bank, the Oslo Accords are still kind of setting the institutional structure for uh, government in the region. And, and that structure is one in which there are three, uh, there's kind of three levels of control. First, there's Area A, which is entirely under Palestinian administration. Palestinians control both uh, civil administration, so like zoning laws, tax laws, that kind of thing, and they control security, so the, the police forces are Palestinian, that kind of thing. That's 18% of the entire West Bank. And if you look at a map, Area A is essentially a series of islands that don't connect in Palestine, okay, or in the West Bank. They're, they're clustered around the major urban areas. So, you know, near East Jerusalem, um, kind of uh, around Hebron, by Ramallah, those areas. That's, that's, um, that's Area A. And again, those areas are under um, Palestinian administration completely. Area B is 22% of the total. It's under Palestinian civil authority, but under Israeli military control. So Palestinians can control things like zoning, which is very important because it, that decides like where new construction can happen, but they don't control the police force. And so when settlers will burn Palestinian farms, attack Palestinian children, all of that kind of thing, the Palestinians as themselves can't actually control their prosecution of these kind of criminal acts. It's up to the Israeli police and, you know, People in here can probably imagine how zealous the Israeli police are in, in prosecuting settlers. Not very. Um, area C, then, is 60% of the total. And Area C is under full Israeli civil and military control. And again, the civil control is particularly important because that means Israel controls what land is zoned for new construction. So when the population grows in a Palestinian village, that's in area C, and people want to build some new homes, want to build new streets for new businesses, that kind of thing, Israel decides whether that's allowed. And most of the time, Israel says no, it's not allowed. Um, and in area C, Israel is actually actively engaged in pushing Palestinians out, in demolishing homes, in, in uh, making conditions unlivable for Palestinians in the hope that they'll go elsewhere. And at the same time, this is where the settlement blocks are also really expanding. Um, so just last month, in August, August alone, Israel demolished 100 homes in Area C in 30 communities, leaving 230 Palestinians homeless. Right? So the, the Area C, which is the bulk of the West Bank under the Oslo Peace Accords, has been uh, an area in which Israel has increased control, has pushed out Palestinians on a month-by-month -month basis, trying to make it impossible for Palestinians to live. And the, the Palestinian villages that still exist in Area C are effectively constricted by the Israeli refusal to allow any kind of new construction. This is what happens when the Palestinians lay down their arms.